YouTube. We are back with some more commentary for you all. Um, I'm joined by my typical partner in crime, TJ. And we are commentating actually one of his matches over at Dean's this past weekend. He is cooking with this victory gray list that he's put together. And he's playing Will, who's playing Shine Gray on the left. Um, so this should be a fun match. I'm interested to see how Victory Gaze played out. We've tested a couple matches together with it, um, but I don't think yeah. we've actually taken it to a locals yet. So we'll find out. Um, but hope you guys yeah. are enjoying the series. Thanks again for all the support. And let's hop right into it. Cooking or getting cooked. We'll <laughs> see what happens. It up. Uh the list is fun. It's not bad. There's a few things I think I want to tweak with it a little bit. Mm -hmm. um, you know, right now, I, I saw the stuff that uh, East had posted about him messing around with Victory Gray. And I was like, you know what? That makes sense. It's not bad in BT14 right now, considering D-Brigade and Fenry. Even has a decent matchup against Yellow Vaccine. Um, like, it's good against decks that, like, try to wideboard, pretty much. Wideboard, uh, or, and, like, I think with the lack of protections that we have in this meta now, too, is also nice yeah it, it has like it technically has a double pop in some ways so mm -hmm. it can do some crazy shit um but anyways yeah uh All right, so will starts off with a pretty standard play hatches an agu or goes into an agu in the back and then plays out the searcher he's got a good amount of targets here um i almost would be tempted to pick up the now restricted guy yeah so he does pick up the oh, restricted Greymon. yep and you start going into an Agu, building up the line. Nice. So Greymon for two. Yeah, I kind of, I saw like a full line. So I was like, you know what? Let's just do it. And I was like, well, you know, I think it's safe to set him at three here right now. If I do this, I have aggression next turn. So sure. I played out the tie just to make sure you couldn't choke me. Yeah, yeah. So he goes up, plays out the Geogray that cheats out of Marcus, which is always great. Oh my God. <laughs> Potential double value, but unfortunately no tamers off of the Geogray. It does whiff. Uh, and then you do go to three. Push out the gray axe. I mean, I see you looking at that crimson. <laughs> yeah, I'm thinking about it. I play the Agu. Uh -huh. And I think you have a metal gray ace. Yeah. You have a tie and then a war gray. So you pick up the tie and the war gray, right? Yeah, I did. And then I had a... Uh... And so at this point, I had revealed to the two secret war graves that I run. <laughs> none of the victory gray. And so Will, Will at this point didn't know what I was playing yet, by the way. Um, so I'm saying, I, I just have to Crimson Blaze for four. Just to pop sure. up both of his bodies to slow him down a little bit. Uh -huh. um, but... Uh, yeah, I didn't... I was trying to find a level five. I was trying to find the BT12 metal gray. All I had was the, <laughs> uh, the promo. Uh, but he's just seeing every training. <laughs> And I was, oh, I was laughing. I was laughing. Jump on the three. training to training combo. But yeah, he just he saw three of them. And I was like, all right, well, that's not good for me. <laughs> He's got a Marcus on board, three trainings. Dude, shine with the trainings is wild. Um, well, he also has the August, so he can move that Marcus up mm -hmm. for free, too, which is like, oh. I mean, also, besides the fact that, like, you could do the yellow, I know most people aren't going to be doing, like, four yellow, four red, which is, like, wild in for sure. But the fact that you could use these trainings and pretty much pick up anything in the deck whether you choose to do yellow or red base is so nice yeah and so at this point i was like well no metal gray axe i'm not seeing it mm -hmm. uh i just went to the altaris I, th I think here i was like debating on just going big and swinging but i was like yeah you know what i'll just swing with the rookie first to check a card and first oh. it hits the final shooting burst oh no <laughs> and then he plays out of marcus oh, no. to pop out of the body and i'm like well all of my gas that i had is gone and so i just training <laughs> seven to two sure, there's and then the of course gray. there's the metal oh. gray axe yeah <laughs> Yeah, it was unfortunate because if I had um, I had enough DP bonus inheritables on there that if I had middle gray X in stack and then I went into the war gray and swung, I would have lived even after the shining burst. But right. it is what it is. That's OK. It's like the sad feeling with these like big stack decks. Like you always seem yeah. to draw into what you need after. Yeah, so he moves the markers up for free using the Agumon effect, goes Agu X, manages to grab a burst or ruin mode. Cracks a training. Yeah. Oh, goes into Geo yeah. Gray. For free. It cracks another training, goes into Rise Gray for one. one. Draws the Marcus. Rise of Marcus, he gain a memory. He drew so heat. Ooh. Training again. 
Goes into oh, wrong one. Goes into the shine for one. Jesus, that's crazy. And so at this point, um, he was saying afterwards is that he want he so he misses the Marcus effect here, mm -hmm. and he was saying that he wanted to uh, double training on your end to go into the to the burst mode there. But I'm like, no, you did it right because if you go into burst, I I, I think I didn't say it actually at the time, but if mm -hmm. he would have went into burst mode there, he would have lost the security check. Right. Right, right, right. And he wouldn't have actually so he uh, just go into burst security. mode here. And yeah. And then do his shenanigans that way. Yeah. Like, he, he did it right. Like, he did the swing there and everything. He could have evoed into the shine for free. So he goes into burst mode. Training, it's, but... it, he goes for game, right? Because he burst modes, trashes one, checks two, and then. Oh, no, checks one. So, yeah, he wouldn't No, he checks game. one. Yeah. Yeah. And I, he doesn't have game yet. That's the thing with the burst mode play is that it's, it doesn't have game unless you have another body on board. So he swings, hits an X-Andy, trashes X-Andy body, hits a Greymon, swings with burst mode, hits a victory, and it's like, well, <laughs> <laughs> not much I could do. Passes to me over to three. Um, I am in an Agumon X, which unfortunately means I can't go into the uh, Greymon for free, but I have the training, so I can sure. training bat him back. I realize now, I was like, if I would have just left myself at the, the one, I could have uh, gone to the War Grey and just swung through. Mm -hmm. Um, but it is what it is. Uh, yeah, I think I played a tie. Then a training to f go for one into the middle nice. break. Use tie to keep turn. Sure. So I have the extra DP boost off the tie. And then I think I go into the war gray. I don't, I still don't go into victory here. Cause I was like, I need to be able to swing through his stacks. I don't have protections and I'm not going to like blocker is not going to help me here. Sure. Cause you could just push up the Marcus and have two swings. Right. Yeah, I feel like you just gotta get rid of the stack at this point. Yeah, and I know he has nothing in raising, so like, I at this point I just had to pray he didn't have another BT13 uh, Agumon. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm still debating for a while because I'm just like trying to decide if it's really the right play. Now the secret war gray though he doesn't have blitz, right? He has raid, or he can. Oh, he no, can he, swing. he he, he has the thing where he yeah. gains raid when did you and then he may attack. So he has sure. like pseudo blitz. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And so I opt just to swing. Swing through it, sure. Yeah, pierce through for four checks. Because <laughs> one, he gains one off himself, one uh -huh. off Metal X, and then one off the tie. And so it's all Agamons and security. And I'm like, I really hit the one card. Uh huh. Uh, but yeah, he no. just plays out for free, and then back up Marcus to win. Yeah, I was like, well, that is what it is. Close. Um, Close. Yeah, I mean, like, if he didn't have it, I was definitely in a good spot. Uh, there was, I don't think there's any answer to my board state at that point mm -hmm. with how much d uh, DP I had. Cause I you think pretty I much had played the... a war grade deck at that point. Yeah, because I was at 16k, so even with Shining Burst, he wasn't going to be able to DP minus me. But yeah, it was basically that I was just playing a war grade deck. I didn't really get to victory. And that's the kind of the thing is like, victory is useless in this matchup. <laughs> he doesn't do anything. Because I'm not going to de- he's Very rarely is Shine going to have another body on board when they're doing their burst mode play. Mm-hmm. Right, at least like uh, during my turn, right? Yeah. So, it's true. Yeah, it's... there's there's not a lot that Victory can do in this matchup. Yeah. that's for sure. It's not a good matchup for Victory. If I was just playing like War Gray X, like like War Gray OTK, then yeah, it would be fine. I would probably be cooking. Yeah. Because I could just consistently just swing for a bunch of checks. Oh, and then I mean, just war the only danger you board. really run into his security at that point would be like just more tamers to give him gas, but the yeah. aggression definitely would be there. Well, that's what Blitz Zombies for. Because I just <laughs> win game afterwards, right? <laughs> Anyways, I searched top four. All I hit was a Greymon. Bottom deck the rest. He just hard drops the BT13 mm -hmm. Agu and then goes Agu X for search. Sure. I love his Roy sleeves. Will has really nice sleeves for his decks. They look good. Lots of Fire Emblem ones. Does hit the Marcus this time. It's going to suspend it to gain a memory and pop my Agu, which is like, well, that is what it is. I expected it. Yeah. It's crazy that he saw the one of twice. Yeah. Opening. like opening. And early on in the game, too. Yeah. You just opt to play a tie. Sure. Yeah, because I, I don't have anything in hand, really. <laughs> I have a Greymon, so I could, but like he's going to go to three anyway, so it's right. like, I might as well just play the tie, get some Tamer advantage, and then... God, he's already doing shine things already. Jeez. Yep. Oh boy. Oh boy. <laughs> he's got a burst mode in hand. 
He doesn't have the BT-12 Marcus, which does slow him down a little bit. But, I mean, this is already a huge advantage he's, for him. He's at a big lead right now already. Yeah. He's going to swing, gain a memory. Uh, that dies, it just goes into security. So that's a problem for later. Yeah. Uh, that effect was always so dirty for me. It's like, you just, like, put him right back. And, oh, and then he plays a BT-12 Marcus off the Geo Oh, God. Yeah. And I don't have enough memory to do any control stuff. And he's yeah. got the BT-12 Marcus on board now. So it's like, what the hell And you know you like, swing, he just... you give him that Marcus right back. It's like, ugh. He was hitting all the right security. I was hitting all the wrong security. He was drawing all the right cards. I was drawing all the wrong cards. It was wrong. Like Will was. Well, it's funny. I, I give him uh I gave him shit for it during the game, but because he started, he was just like, "Man, I don't know about this hand." I'm like, "Look what you just did to me! <laughs> Look what you just did to me! Look at the pain <laughs> you shine... you've just inflicted." <laughs> you played a very consistent shine game. I don't want to hear it. <laughs> don't tell me that shit. Don't give me that. I want you to stand there with pride and tell me you whoop my ass. Don't give me the, the, that. I, I don't know, man. I wasn't sure. <laughs> I, mean, I think this just goes to show, right, that like a lot of people are like, oh, you know, shines, you know, it's it's all over for shine, the restriction list, yada, yada. But like, it's still a really fucking good deck. Like, yeah. it's not going anywhere. Yeah. Um. At this point, I pushed up because I was like, I have to try and do something. He's going to go up yeah. in memory anyways, like, realistically. Mm -hmm. I, there's no way I can really... Or we won't go up in memory, but the thing I can do is stop him. This does stop him from just having the body on board and just pray he doesn't have the full burst mode play. Sure. Do you um, think about swinging with the Greymon first or nah? I I considered it, but you I was like, if I blocker. swing with the Greymon... Uh, yeah, I was like, I can keep him as a blocker on top mm -hmm. of that. I could... uh what? Do other stuff, but it doesn't matter. He minuses three me, and then can't okay. pop me because I'm four K, but he's six K. So I'm like, I'll let it go through. Or he's and he's nine going to security. So I'm like, I'll let it go through. I probably should have just blocked there because it was two checks. Mm -hmm. I think I actually forgot I had blocker to to be honest with you. <laughs> but yeah, he just burst modes, swings, trashes top, does one check, and then I I just gave it to him. So I'm like, I'm not. There's no reason yeah. for me to do it. Like, even if I block there, I'm all right, I lose. So, that was a clean shine matchup, that's for sure. Or, sh like, shine yep. game. He saw he drew heat, he yeah. drew heat, and he played it really well, too. He didn't just draw heat, he also played it well. He, I think, overthought a little bit first game when he was like kind of uh, he was saying how he missed the Marcus effect to go into the burst mode, but you don't want a Marcus to go into burst mode nine sure. times out of ten. No, you don't want to do that. Yeah, I mean, um, I think you're going to miss the trashing window too. to trash, trash security when you evil into it. You guys already suspended. So, right, right. It just yeah. makes you do one less check. I mean, there's those like subtle plays that shine can do for sure. You know, that I think kind of separate it. Like it's, it's a really like, what's the word for it? Like it's, it's a, like at baseline, it's a good deck, right? But I think you do have to pilot it well to like get it to that extra oh, yeah. like tier zero, which like with any deck for sure. Right. But like, I think just shine has a very high floor at baseline yeah you have to you have to understand the combo correctly and exactly how it's going to function and that's how you're going to get those those w's with it consistently yep. the other part of it is just praying it doesn't brick on you because it is at the end of the day a graymon deck and those decks either see everything or see nothing yeah yeah um but yeah that wraps up this round um the this bleh, the links to the subsequent rounds will be in the description down below we've got three total in this set so be on the lookout for that and we'll catch you over on the next round Bye, guys. Bye, <laughs>